All right, guys, so we're back in the shop. Uh, probably gonna end up doing the same thing this week, kind of like we did last week, where it just did like a recap video and just included some footage from the whole week. Um, so as you can see uh, earlier, there was a clip where Nathan was working on installing the fuel system on this truck while I was at work. Um, so we're back out here tonight. Oh. What the heck? Oh, dipstick too. Yeah, somebody had a Birkin dip. God, this. <laughs> somebody had a Birkin dipstick tube. So, uh, had to get that out for him. We got a spare on the shelf we're gonna put back in here. Uh, but anyways, uh, but as you can see, we uh, got the engine is pretty much wrapped up. The King Speed valve cover on. We've got to build a breather system here for it to go into a catch can. And uh, then we'll be going on, daggone. What, uh, what manifold did you say this was? DPS manifold. Daggone rusty as can be already. But anyways, like I said, we got to uh, build a turbo kit for this truck. So we need some of the, I don't know what you call it, weld-in bones or whatever for the sensors, for like the uh, mass airflow sensors, stuff like that. So I went and picked up some material today. I'm gonna work on making some of that stuff up while Nathan is continuing working on this. So anyways, we'll touch base here in a bit. Woo. Well, what's wrong? <laughs> Banks is what's wrong. Can't he jack up the daggone rear end no more because this covers in the daggone way. <laughs> Increased airflow in my ass. Daggone bank sponsored rig here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys, this is not normal for us. Whew. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it take you like two hours to get here. <laughs> oh shoot boy. <laughs>
so like we said before, intercooler over here has a uh, big hole in the back of it. So putting a new one in, we pulled it out to run the uh, alternator wire is underneath this here. And uh, then he was having an issue. He kept puncturing radiators. And so we found a bunch of stuff was loose or not even bolted in at all. So uh, correcting a lot of the issues, uh, fan shroud was busted up in it too. So put a new one of those in there. Um, but anyways, just correcting a lot of the issues the truck had before and uh, trying to get it where it'll be a little more reliable for him. Uh, we got a catch can that we're trying to get mounted in here now. Um, I'm gonna try to mount it on the back side of the bank's donkey dick there. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, made, <laughs> so made a little bracket for that and get it put up in there and probably not too far from getting out of here for the day because as you can kind of see out there, really bright yet yeah, that's freaking snow, it's cold as balls. And we ran out of gas in the heater. So Well, boys, as you can see, it is another beautiful day in the freaking neighborhood. All right, guys, so a little update on where we are with things in the shop. Uh, as you can see, on the ground behind me here, we've got a 48 swap on the ground, minus the 48, obviously. Uh, we've got to get it from outside. But anyways, uh, we'll fill you in on what's going on with that uh, probably tomorrow. Um, but as you can see on the ground right there, got a, a harness off of the red crew cab truck we're working on. Um, it's the C1 and C2 harness. I'm gonna go through and clean up a little bit. There's some damaged wires that need a little bit of attention and then reloom everything and clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna work on that today. But anyways, while I'm working on that, Nathan's over here working on some pie cut fun to uh, build this budget second gen swap kit here. So anyways, while he's working on that, I'll bounce back and forth between giving him a hand if he needs help holding anything and working on this uh, harness. All right, fellas, so as you can tell, it's a little early this morning. We got a little bit of a road trip to take care of. Um, headed to go pick up Nathan. Gonna head over to uh, Dunright Fab and drop off the new rear end for the race truck. We are making some progress on that. And um, then we've got to head, I guess you'd say west, go pick up Trevor. And uh, then we're headed over to the other side of the state. And uh, we'll fill you in on what we're doing over there when we get there. See y'all. 
All right, fellas, so as you can see, we are back from our little road trip. We've been gone for about, shoot, I don't know, going on 12 hours now. Um, anyways, uh, first thing to note, some exciting news for me, really. Um, the race truck is coming along. The back half has some progress made on it. I went today and dropped off the new axle to go in the back of it. We're switching it over to a 14 bolt rear. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than the factory, so we're making that swap. And then we left there and we headed west, as I said, and uh, here's what we got. So the old mega cab here is uh, knocking on the doors at 200,000 miles and a uh, stock 48 transmission. So it was in dire need of an upgrade. Uh, I had started collecting parts to build the 48, was gonna go Sander solid input and then billet intermediate and output uh, factory size. Don't plan on making a ton of power with the truck, but instead we went a little bit different route. So it may not look like much now, but we did work out a swap with a guy. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and just could never get everything to line out, but now it has. So this is an NV5600. It's out of a 03, I believe, Cummins. Um, so we have everything we need here other than a handful of bolts we're missing to make the swap into the mega cab. So as for everything else going on, as you can see, we still got the silver truck here in the shop. Um, we finished up everything with the second gen swap that Nathan was fabbing up on it. Uh, it's going to get welded up this week and then we'll be putting it back on the truck and that truck will be ready to roll out. So it'll be getting out of the way. Um, as soon as it gets out of the way, we'll be getting the red crew cab truck we worked on earlier. Uh, we'll be getting it back in here and we'll be going ahead and finishing everything up on it. I did make a little bit of progress, uh, as you saw, working on the wiring harness. It does have a few things that need a little bit of attention, but it's pretty much wrapped up. And when we pull the truck back in, we'll be doing some work cleaning up the engine bay, cleaning up the frame, painting everything, and uh, start putting it together. Uh, I'm really excited about that and start getting footage on that one. But as soon as that truck gets out of the way, then we'll be getting a mega cab in because we've got to put that G56 in because... If you recall the uh, white crew cab over there, that truck we picked up a little while back, still not sure if we're gonna end up just fixing it and flipping it or what, but it had a bad motor. So we'll be taking the 48 swap out of the mega cab, putting in that one to get it running and driving. We do have a motor ready to go in that truck. Uh, so it's really just a matter of getting the time to get it in the shop. So anyways, that pretty much wraps up this weekend and everything we've had going on this weekend. Of course, some crappy weather. But hopefully next video, this truck will be firing up and we'll be moving on to the next big project. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know it wasn't a whole lot of exciting stuff to watch, but it is a little bit of an update on what we've got going on around here. And maybe the next video will have something interesting. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all next time. See ya.